Let's see the statement of Rauch's theorem. That is, let f of z and g of z be analytic inside and on a simple closed curve capital C, and let mod of z z less than mod of f of z on capital C. Then f of z and f of z plus g of z have the same number of zeros inside C. So this is the statement of Rauch's theorem, and I am going to prove this theorem in two parts. Okay, firstly we shall prove that neither f of z and f of z plus g of z had zeros on C. Okay, for this we are going to let some point A on capital C. We have f of A is equal to zero. Let us suppose there is any point A on C curve C for which f of A is equal to zero. Then we know that from here mod of g z is less than mod of f z. So mod of g a is less than mod of f a, which implies this is less than zero. So if this is less than zero, this implies g of a is equal to zero, which contradicts the hypothesis that g of z is always less than mod of f of z on C. Okay, this is the contradiction. Now similarly, if we take f of a plus g of a is equal to zero. For this, okay, what we get f of a is equal to minus g of a. If we take the modulus on both side, then this imply mod of f a is equal to mod of g a, which is again a contradiction, which is again a contradiction. So. neither so neither f of z nor f of z plus z of z has a zero at c sorry on on c okay now for the second part firstly let capital f of z is equals to small z z upon small f of z then we can write it as z z is equals to capital f z small f z show that g dash z is equals to f dash z f of z plus f z small f dash z now suppose m capital m and capital m are the number of zeros of f z and f z plus g z inside and on c we just suppose m and r the number of zeros of f z and f z plus g z inside and on c since we know that f z and f z plus g z are analytic which is already mentioned in the statement within and on within and on capital c so from meromorphic function so from meromorphic function theorem m is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i integral f of f dash z f of z dz give it equation 1 and n is equals to and n is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i f dash z g dash z upon f z plus z z give it equation 
आई होप यू ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट मेरोमोर्फिक फंक्शन थ्योरम ओके बाय दिस थ्योरम वी जस्ट जनरलाइज दिस इक्वेशन वी जस्ट गिव इट इक्वेशन वन इक्वेशन टू आफ्टर दैट एन माइनस एम इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू पाई आई वी आर गोइंग टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एंड एम हेयर टू पाई आई इंटीग्रल ओवर सी कैपिटल सी f डैश प्लस f डैश कैपिटल f प्लस स्मॉल f कैपिटल f डैश अपॉन स्मॉल f प्लस स्मॉल f कैपिटल f सो गाइस फ्रॉम वेयर आई हैव रिटेन द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस आई जस्ट सिंपली पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ n हियर सो द वैल्यू ऑफ n इज रिटेन हियर एंड वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ g डैश z एंड g z फ्रॉम देयर Z is equals to this and G dash Z is equals to this. So I have written this. Okay, don't be confused. If you have any problem, please comment down below. I will answer you. Now put the value of capital M. That is one upon two pi integral over C f dash upon f dz. Now take the value common from them. That is one upon Two pi i integral over c integral over c. I'm going to I'm going to solve this equation first, taking the f dash common from these two. F dash one plus capital F plus small f capital F dash and small f one plus capital F minus. One upon two pi i. This is integral over c. As it is, we have written. Okay. After that, common I just simply solve one upon two pi i integral over c. F dash small f dz plus one upon two pi i integral over c capital F dash one plus capital F dz minus one by Two pi i integral over c f dash small f dz. Okay, I just take the base on a both side. Now one upon two pi i. If you can see this term and this term is same, so this term is cancel out. This becomes zero. So the left. Integral is capital F dash one plus F dz, which is also written as one upon two pi i integral over c F dash one plus F inverse dz, and we know the value of one plus z to whole inverse is one upon two pi i integral over c capital F dash One minus f plus f square minus f q plus dot 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 up to like this d z and we know that and we know that mod of capital f z is less than one. So if we take the integral f dash d z, I am just multiplying each of This one upon two pi i integral over c f dash capital F t z plus one upon two pi i integral over c f dash f square d z like this. Or you may write by Cauchy's integration. Or you may write by a Cauchy's integration theorem. F z is regular. Okay, so this will become zero, and n minus m is equals to zero. So this imply n minus m is equals to zero. That is f of z and f of z plus z z half 
n is equals to m okay have same number of zeros inside c okay this video is helpful for you and if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe my channel for more coming videos upcoming videos and suggest the more theorem from bscs and msc maths of course i will going to make the video on thank you for watching this video